title, we are going to do a review on the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin line. I literally had no idea this was coming. Like, it was, to me, it seemed a little bit out of nowhere. If you guys do not know who Jen Atkin is, she is, like, the ultimate CEO. I think she came up with that term. I'm gonna say she did. She has way, you know, she works with a ton of celebrities. Let's just go ahead and break down what the full collection includes because they did send me the PR package. The packaging definitely screams elf, screams very drugstore, but I mean, it's so affordable. First up that I see are some eyeliners. So zero effort eyeliner, the extra lip duos. So on one side is a lip liner and then the other side, it's a little bit of a Fatter. It almost looks like the same packaging as like a Glossier Generation G, but it does say a rich matte finish. So I'm guessing they're a little bit more pigmented. We'll, we'll see once we get there. The Let's Elfing Do This palette and this one retails for $14 and it comes in these two different palettes. So yeah, they're very similar tones. Like it has the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, but one is gonna be for the deeper tone set and then the other one for the more like light to medium set. And then also we have the Miss Me. This one retails for $8. And this, oh my God, I'm really, really excited about it because I got so many people like, can you please test the brow product? So I'm sure there's already been a little bit of hype on this. And you know, over here, we love to test out brow products, the amount of brow videos I have on this channel. But I wanna get into applying at least a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. CC Camo Cream. This one's color correcting, it's definitely full coverage and it leaves a nice natural finish, just like it says. So I've been really into this. This is in the shade light medium. At first I thought it was too light, but then the other ones that they sent me were a little bit too dark or just not the right undertone. So this one is the warm undertone, which I definitely feel like I am. I have been using this for the past I don't know, whenever Kathleen Lights honestly like reviewed it, since then I bought it because I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like this. Now that we got that, let's jump into the brows. This is the Hair and Brow Pomade Clear Coat. I love that it's clear. So we're just gonna go ahead and, huh, it's definitely, I feel like it's not really depositing product right away. Like. The bristles, if you guys can see, it's plastic. And I just feel like it's not really allowing the gel to really sit on them, but we'll see if like, by the end of the makeup look, if it really does hold them. Maybe it dries into place. It feels so light on my brow. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this side. I hope I'm using this right. Just to, I'm gonna let that sit actually and see what it does before I actually fill it in any of these scars. So for now, let's just move on to the eyeshadow. Okay, so we can choose from this. I'm just gonna start with the lighter shade. And I'm gonna use the next shade here, this medium. It's definitely on the warm side. Start buffing it right above the crease. Just really simple. So then I'm gonna take something a bit more stiff and I'm gonna use this next shade. I'm just gonna try to use them all, honestly. And you know, I like to kind of pull it up to give me the illusion of like somewhat of a facelift. I'm just gonna go ahead and whip through this this other eye. Oh my god, I look like my mom. Holy. So I'm gonna do the eyeliner next. Let's just use the brown one because I do kind of want to smoke it out with this brown on top just to give even more of like a natural kind of vibe. Okay. So I just did one little, ooh, it's very pigmented. I just did it so softly. And you already can see it, even on, on camera, it shows up real nice. So you guys can see. This one, it's really, really creamy and nice. Do a little bit of liner in the inner, just to do a little pop. I love this. Wow, it is so good. Elf, come through, Jen. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, yeah, The it really does. Like I was saying, I'm like touching my brows. Sorry, I'm like jumping all over the place. I feel my my brows actually like they're in place now. Like they're, they're not gonna move, but it's not flaky, hey. I'm gonna go in and fill them in next, but let me just finish this eye. So I'm just gonna take this brow pop and fill it in. Little smudgy brush like that, and then with the dark brown in the eyeshadow slash face palette, I'm just gonna go right under here to kind of connect the liner and then just go halfway. I'm gonna dip into first the bronzer, then we'll make our way across just layering up. So we have the full blush bronzer highlight. Wow, everything is actually so good. I had high expectations and they're delivering right now. 
it's not muddy it's not too you know when like some cheap blushes become so blotchy like it's actually blending out so seamlessly it's just like that nice mid-tone bronze that i like okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and dip it into the same brush the blush and it's so pretty this is like my favorite color blush where it almost leans a bit peachy this gives you so much radiance i'm just gonna dust a little bit of the blush right up in here tie it all in I'm the highlighter with my finger first look at how i dug into it with my nail Ugh, so annoying I haven't even shot b-roll yet and i'm gonna add I'm gonna take this. Ooh, this is e.l.f. too. I have, I'm not even doing that on purpose. I just reach for like my favorite type of brushes. And they're always e.l.f. I'm gonna add some to the bridge of the nose there. Dust a little here at the end. To give my nose just a tiny bit of lift. Um, I was gonna look into the, there's no mirror. Right up in here. On the cheekbones, my face is feeling a bit dry. So I'm gonna mist everything. Seems like this is kind of like a hydrating one if it's like a coconut water. Oh, it's a coconut scent. No, 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 yeah, there is some coconut oil in here. So that doesn't sit well with your skin, just be aware. I'm gonna take one for the team and spray it. Bro, <laughs> this is not fair. It's making me wanna be not in the US, <laughs> I wanna be on a tropical beach somewhere. Ooh, that does feel very comforting. Like I was saying, my face was dry, so definitely comforted it a bit. I feel like it also provided a little bit of sheen, right? It's a very fine mess, you see that? Very fine. For a drugstore. Let me just apply some mascara really fast, just so we're done with the eyes and then we'll move on to the lips. So I'm just gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury, but let's just jump to the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. Do they have names? I don't see them. There's a red, and then there's like two different kinds of, I don't know what to call it. First, I'm gonna go in with this side, of course. That's more of like a lip liner. Very creamy. Okay, this is like definitely more like of a rose pink. Like a Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me. So dry. I should just get freaking filler and then it'll <laughs> I'm just I'm just joking. It'll get rid of all this flakiness. I'm gonna use the other side now, which I, it says it's matte. Oh yeah, definitely matte. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, let's take that off and apply another shade. So next we'll do this brown shade. Thank you, yeah, so precise. It's one of these retractable type. So I like that, but it's always kind of harder to, um, ooh, that's pretty. Um, it's always kind of harder to sharpen, I think. How do you sharpen them? Mm, I love this shade. I think I'm gonna like the red too. I would really recommend this duo. On to the next, shall we? <laughs> so I thought we were already recording and I already started, but this is the red shade. Let's move on to, this one's so mad. Where are my lips right there? Ooh, it kind of, it's kind of like tugs. <gasps> Look how bright it is. <gasps> this is so gorge. Gina George. This is matte, but I mean matte, but I love a matte for, for, um, for red in particular. This is it, baby. Okay, what is that? This is Amy from the future. My vision is so blurry right now. I don't, I don't know if I'm in focus or not. Because I went to bed at 5 a.m. this morning and it is currently 10 a.m. And we are getting ready to go to a facial. But anyways, back to this video. I don't know what is going on with my little files, okay? But the review part portion of this, like at the end, my final thoughts, I don't know what happened. And I feel like I had to tell you what's worth it and what's not. Or else, like, what's the point of this freaking video, right? Would I buy this on my own? No. I would skip out on this one. What I would recommend is that green bottle from e.l.f. That one is so good. It's kind of like a dupe, I guess, for the Urban Decay one. I just, even though I was like enjoying the scent of the coconut, I mean, it's not something that I feel like I'll reach for, honestly. So the brow product, I, I feel like it was a little difficult to use. Maybe we can use it on our hair. Oh my God, my hair is such a mess. My hair is so dry. Um, I think I'll be using it more for my hair 
only because I don't see myself switching between my dirty ass hair onto my brows and risk a breakout. I would recommend this more for your hair. And you can just stick this in your bag, by your computer, before Zoom meetings, you know, you just, oop, I see a flyaway, boom, you know? What I really loved from this collection are the eyeliners and the lip products. I really loved all three shades. Like, can't go wrong, it's like a Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me love. The other one is like the perfect cool tone-ish, like 90s supermodel brown love, and then a freaking cherry poppin' red with like a blue violet undertone, I love, I really do. And then these eyeliners are so beautiful, like really if you have a hard time doing a cat eye, this is the one for you because it just, even if you want to go, I know I was a little bit more stark, but if you want to just smudge it out, they smudge out so beautifully because it's cream to powder, so would really recommend these. The face palette, I don't think I showed the one for like deep skin tones, but like I know if you are a deep skin tone, you're like, girl, this probably won't work on me, and I, yeah, so I don't really know, the bronzer especially, like I said, they're very similar, so maybe one more palette would have been nice for like, <gasps> ah, I can't get these, I don't even cry, okay, sorry, I'm being so whiny because I have not slept, I used this one, and I felt like the bronzer was really nice, I love the blush, the highlight, it was a right, it wasn't my favorite. The eyeshadow palettes, I think they're really pretty. Like between these two, if you end up buying both, which I'm not really sure if I would recommend, but um, if you do, it's a nice little travel palette, I'm just saying. And it goes on really well, blends out really nicely, so it's not a bad product at all. You know, if I had a weekend getaway and I just had this with me, I know my makeup would still look bomb. So overall, I feel like everything performs actually as it should. I don't see anything where I'm like, oof, this should have been, you know, this should have been scrapped or anything like that. I feel like everything is fine. Maybe there is a few things that I wouldn't rank higher than, you know, some of the products that I already own, even from e.l.f. I would give it like a solid B because the color, like the lips and eyeliner at the drugstore like this is really hard to come by. This one is kind of pushing them up a little bit on the grade scale and they're shades that I truly would wear perfect for that everyday wear like very simplistic and yeah i need to go because i'm gonna go get my facial i'm gonna bring you guys along with me either on instagram or i'm gonna bring my i'm gonna bring both my vlogging camera and obviously my cell phone but because i can't be doing both while i'm getting my facial i don't know what kind of content we're gonna get so if you don't see it on youtube you'll definitely catch it on instagram bye